Hey everyone, my name is Randy Lee and I'm an environmental engineer. Today we're going to talk about why are environmental engineers always in demand? And I know what you're thinking. What are you talking about? I just got laid off or like I'm currently struggling to find a job right now, let alone an engineering job. And to that, I want to say, I know how you feel. I've been there before and for someone who has experienced that already, going through layoffs, you know, being a recent graduate, struggling to find a job or having like high expectations from Asian parents who expect a high paying job right after graduating, I want to reassure you that you'll be fine in the long run. This could be a sensitive topic because as I cover the job market for environmental engineers, most of you guys might not see the prospect currently, but as I dive deeper into the video, you'll see why in the long run you don't really have much to worry about. First off, let's start with the basics. What exactly is environmental engineering? Environmental engineering is a branch of engineering that focuses on protecting the environment by reducing waste and pollution. It involves improving environmental conditions through design, technology, and scientific principles. This field combines civil engineering, chemical engineering, and environmental science to address the environmental challenges. So why exactly is this profession in high demand? Or more importantly, why will it be in the future? So let's break it down into a few key reasons, starting with the most pressing issue, which is climate change. Climate change is an undeniable reality. Okay, let's just get that out of the way. The increase in global temperatures, rising sea levels, and its frequency of extreme weather events are all contributing to a more urgent need for solutions. Environmental engineers are at the forefront of developing and implementing strategies to mitigate these effects. For example, they design systems to manage stormwater runoff in urban areas to prevent flooding, which is a problem that's becoming more common with changing weather patterns. Consider the case of Miami, Florida, for example. The city faces regular flooding due to its low elevation and increasing intensity of hurricanes. Environmental engineers have been instrumental in designing and implementing a stormwater management system that includes pumps and like drainage improvements to reduce this flood risk. Without these interventions, Miami's flooding issues would be far more severe, affecting thousands of residents and billions of dollars in property. Another critical area where environmental engineers are making a difference is the management of natural resources. So as the global population continues to grow, the demand for clean water, clean air, and sustainable land use also increases. And environmental engineers develop innovative ways to ensure that all these resources are used efficiently and sustainably. Take for example, water treatment plants. And environmental engineers design and operate these facilities to ensure that the water supply is safe to consume. In drought prone regions like California, for example, where I live in, engineers are working on advanced water recycling to turn wastewater into potable water, ensuring a sustainable water supply even in times of scarcity. In addition to water management, air quality is another significant concern. Cities with high levels of air pollution, such as like Beijing or New Delhi, rely on the expertise of environmental engineers to design air quality monitoring systems and develop policies to reduce emissions from industrial sources and vehicles. These efforts are crucial in reducing health problems related to poor air quality, such as like asthma and other cardiovascular diseases. Now let's talk about waste management. As the world becomes more industrialized, the amount of waste produced by humans just you know, skyrocketed. Landfills are being filled up and improper waste disposal is causing like serious environmental and health problems. And environmental engineers play a crucial role in designing waste management systems that minimize the impact of the environment. For example, in Sweden, environmental engineers have developed one of the most efficient waste to energy systems. The system not only reduces the amount of waste sent to landfills, but also generates electricity and heat for residential and commercial use. It's like a win-win solution for everyone, really. It's less waste and more energy. It's something I really wish the United States would actually work on. And environmental regulations also drive the demand for environmental engineers. The governments around the entire world are enacting stricter laws to protect the environment. Maybe not your country yet, maybe not even America, but definitely there are places that are doing that. These regulations require companies to comply with environmental standards, and they often need the expertise of environmental engineers to do that. In the United States, for example, the EPA enforces regulations on air and water quality, hazardous waste, and other environmental issues. And companies that fail to comply with these regulations are usually fined very heavily and have other legal consequences. So environmental engineers help these companies navigate the complex rules and regulations and try to implement solutions that can actually meet and exceed these standards. Basically, it's better to pay an environmental engineer their salary than, you know, run out of business. 
the push for renewable energy sources is another factor contributing to the demand for environment engineers. So as the world moves away from fossil fuels, there's a growing need for professionals who can design and implement renewable energy systems like you know wind, solar, bioenergy. In Germany, for example, which is known for its energy transition policy, the engineers there have been instrumental in increasing the share of renewable energy in the country's energy mix. They design and optimize wind turbines, solar panels, and biogas plants, contributing to the more sustainable and environmental friendly energy system. I have yet to visit any of these European countries that are implementing these, but I'd really love to go and check them out. Environmental engineers are also super crucial in the remediation of contaminated sites. Industrial activities, you know, oil spills, and proper waste disposal have all left so many areas polluted with hazardous substances. And cleaning up these sites usually requires specialized knowledge and techniques that only we can do. One notable example is like the cleanup of the Love Canal site in New York. In the 1970s, it was like discovered that a residential area built on top of a toxic waste dump led to like severe health problems for the residents. And so environmental engineers played a key role in this remediation effort, which involved removing like contaminated soil, installing containment systems, and monitoring the site to ensure that it was safe for the future. And the demand for environmental engineers isn't just limited to like developed countries. In developing countries, rapid industrialization and urbanization are leading to a more significant increase in environmental challenges. Environmental engineers are needed to design infrastructure that supports sustainable development and improve the quality of life for millions of people there. So what I'm trying to say is that currently there isn't that much demand for it yet, but because as they're developing, there will be a demand. Another factor for driving the demand for environmental engineers is the increasing awareness and commitment to corporate social responsibility. So companies are recognizing that sustainable practices are not only good for the environment, but also for their bottom line. Investors, customers, and employees are all placing greater value on sustainability and companies are responding by incorporating environmental considerations into their business strategies. Environmental engineers help these companies develop and implement sustainable practices from reducing energy consumption and waste to designing eco-friendly products. For example, Patagonia, the outdoor clothing company, is known for its commitment to sustainability. The engineers at Patagonia work on projects such as using recycled materials in their products, improving energy efficiency in their facilities, and reducing the environmental impact of their supply chain. Educational institutions are also recognizing the importance of environmental engineering. Universities are expanding their environmental engineering programs to prepare the next generation of engineers to tackle these challenges. This is creating a pipeline of skilled professionals who are ready to enter the workforce and make a difference. So if you've noticed now, actually in your university, they might be offering environmental engineering. Some of them do, some of them don't, but I've noticed that they're actually increasing the amount such that a few years ago, there wasn't even an option as an environmental engineer. One such example is Stanford University, which offers a comprehensive environmental engineering program that involves coursework in water and air quality, sustainable energy, and environmental policy. So graduates who work from this program go on to work in various sectors from like government agencies or nonprofits or private companies, creating a positive feedback loop that is just fueling the demand for environmental engineers. And finally, let's talk about the personal fulfillment that comes with being an environmental engineer. So many professionals in the field are driven by a passion for making a positive impact on the planet. They find it, you know, immense satisfaction in knowing that their work actually contributes to a cleaner and healthier, more sustainable future. I know a lot of people are really just working at their job because they're forced to, to pay the bills. Some might actually enjoy their job, but for the most part, in all of America really, a good chunk of people don't really care about the impact that their job does. But if you're an environmental engineer, you don't have to worry about that. Environmental engineers usually share stories of how their projects are directly improving the lives of people in their community. You know, whether it's providing clean drinking water to a village in a developing country or just reducing air pollution in a crowded city or restoring some contaminated site to make it more safe and usable. The work that the environmental engineers do are actually tangible and meaningful. On a large scale, it really does make an impact. So in conclusion, the demand for environmental engineers is driven by a combination of urgent global challenges, regulatory requirements, technological advances, and a growing awareness of the importance of sustainability. As climate change continues to impact our planet, the need for these skilled professionals who can like, develop and implement these effective solutions will only increase. And you know, that's where you guys show up. Environmental engineering is not just a career, it's like a calling to make the world a better place in the future. And if that's what you wanna do, then you know, go for it. That's really why I chose this career. So that's all I have for this video. 
Thank you for watching. If you found this video insightful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below if you have any thoughts on the demand for environmental engineers in your area, or if you have any topics that you want me to cover in the future. See you next time. Goodbye.